my question. How does the distance from the Earth to the sun affect the weather? All right, Katie from Horizon Elementary, that is an excellent question. The distance of the Earth, how does that affect the weather? Well, let's take a look at Katie's picture here that she drew, and uh, I guess that uh, says the weatherman, so that must be me, and there's Katie there, and she's got, looks like she's got a marker, so she was going over all the calculations and telling me that the Earth is 93 million miles away from the sun, but that is on average, of course, and so we talked about it and said, okay, actually, during the winter time, the sun is closer to the Earth. The Earth and sun are actually closer together by three and a half million miles. The sun and Earth are only 91 million miles apart during the winter time so you think we might be warmer certainly not the case in the northern hemisphere and during the summertime we're uh, again three and a half million miles talk about 94 and a half million miles away so it's not necessarily that distance so here we are this again is winter time here and so we're actually closer to the sun because the earth's orbit around the sun is not exactly a circle and so here's the summertime and we're actually further away so it's not the short distance but if you do get further away of course that can create a huge temperature difference in fact here are the average surface temperatures of all the planets here's earth the average temperature 59 degrees. Of course, you get a lot farther away. We're talking upwards to 355 degrees below zero here at Neptune. Uh, Mercury is a good 500 degrees above zero in Venus, even though it's not as close to the sun as Mercury because of the atmosphere being very gaseous and uh, a huge greenhouse effect going on here, 900 degrees. So it can have an impact, but not with the Earth and sun. So it really doesn't affect our weather. What really affects our weather more than anything is the high sun angle that hits the Earth during the summertime we get direct focused rays and energy to warm the ground and warm the atmosphere but in the wintertime notice the sky is much lower or the sun is much lower in the sky and so you, the energy gets spread out and it really doesn't warm us up as much so that's the main reason so there's not a huge difference because of the earth's uh, distance to the sun we are locked in summer and winter time but again it is the angle of the sun that is making all the difference great question from our weather whiz kid Katie from Horizon Elementary